All set from the 1700 and uh, away they go. Memorial Day got out well. Kit Kat Katie is there. Sassy is back at the rail and Three Strands is racing up there with him. And so in the early stages of the race right now his impersonation has got speed in the red sleeves and the red cap. They've been followed further back by Streets Ahead who's outside of those runners with Roslyn who's further back and racing about four or five lengths from that leader. Dusky Rose is racing behind that lot. Ponderosa Pine and Sassy then all the way from USA is racing about uh, seven, eight lengths off the leader. They further back by Antan and Arivo, racing nine, ten off the leader. Behind that, Fiery Cliffs is racing alongside of Red Maple, and then came Coffee in Seattle, who's racing in the white sleeves and the white cap, and they're about 10, 11 lengths off the leader as they become homeward bound now. Impersonation in the red sleeves and red cap is the leader. Goes along from Memorial Day, three strands in the all red behind that sassy. They followed by Street ahead who's racing there in the middle Dusky Rose, Ponder Rose a pine about five lengths off the leader Impression is further back, they followed by Antanan Arivo is back there at the rail, then came all the way from USA, they six lengths off the leader as they travel to the final 400 metres now Three Strands has come through to pick it up, it's Three Strands who is the leader, goes on from Memorial Day behind that, Roslyn's in the middle three lengths behind, Three Strands as they come past the 200 metre mark from Memorial Day but three strands in the all red colours in control and pulling away three strands Memorial Day Roslyn behind that then came impersonation it will show as they pass the 200 metre mark that three strands sent about its business and uh, goes for home a couple of them trying to chase but chasing as you can see shadows today three strands does have it under control game run from the runner-up three memorial day with the two Roslyn behind them and the 13 impersonation back in fourth on that note that's the latest from the vol for your opener Welcome back uh, to the winner's enclosure and the winning interviews for the first race. It's been won by number 16, Three Strands, daughter of Futura. Marco van Rensburg rode it again. He rode her into second last time out. Great start for you. And uh, perfectly judged. You had this horse in the right position. Just had to see out the trip, which it did well. Drew away in the end. Yeah, look, I was happy to lead. Um, I bounced the gates to lead, and unfortunately, Keegan's horse was just too fast, you know. So I gave it to him and I said, all right, well, I'm just going to sit one off then. And, you know, as long as nothing's there to break my stride, I'm happy. So at the end of the day, she, she, raced, uh, she raced very nice. You know, we didn't, we didn't go all that hard in this race. It wasn't a very hard run race. Mm. But she stayed out the distance and she had more left at the end. So I think with her, you know, she's going to improve. She's going to get better. And I'm hoping that there's, there's more to come, you know. Okay, congratulations. There's a lot of owners. If you got all the owners right now, I'd give you a million rand. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I can't. <laughs> I know you can't. That's why I'd offer you a million rand. Um, you've got other horses on the day. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, look, I'll give, give me a flame and nice chance. Uh, you know, the mile, she looks, she wants a mile. She, obviously, she's got to settle. I'm drawn a bit bad, so it's a bit of a, you know, 50-50 kind of race. Above the world, I don't know, she's fast. We'll have to see what she does today. And, you know what, that's pretty much, I don't know what, uh, I don't know what Captain Corus is going to do today. You know, he's always that hangs and he does play ups from time to time. So all depends what goes through his head today. So, but I think they got, they got all got place chances. You know, I'm, I'm in it doing it, so. Hot out there. Uh, what's the course like? No, the track's running very well. Um, very well done to the track manager. It's even, it's level, it's, the grass is not too long. It's not wet at all. So well done to them. They've done a superb job with this track. Whenever we speak to the winning jockey of the first race, they always say that because the only ones that would moan were the ones that didn't win. Yeah, you know, and especially if you're in the front, then you'd like getting the best going. Yeah, yeah. So no, it is nice. The track is nice, it's firm, it's on top. We're going to have a lovely day. Well done. Just a big thanks to Mr. Spice, to Old Man Spice, and you know what, to all the connections, Francie. Thank you very much, my sponsor, Questic Insurance. Thank you. Thank you to Mark Evan Rensberg. Winning uh, condition is Corne Spice. Well done, Corne. A very nice win, and uh, lots of improvement still to come because uh, drew away at the finish. 
I think so, Nico. She's a, she's a very nice filly, like I said on the uh, sort of pre-race interview, that, you know, she's taken a long time to come to end, but she's grown. She's a big filly now, and, and, and she's only really getting into her own now. So uh, 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 very well done to, to all our partners. I'm going to attempt for the million bucks. <laughs> I didn't offer it to you, though. <laughs> You're not a jockey. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Vikas Schuberin and uh, Keegan Govender and his, his mates, uh, Ronnie Nyker, uh, Suvan Govender, Desen Chetty, and I'm trying to think who I left out now, Yanni De Lange. So, so really well done to all of them. And uh, Philip Kahn's uh, Eva Greenstad, that, that bred her from a, from a filly that we used to train, uh, a, a triple dart, a trippy, trippy filly. And, and, and it's nice to, nice to have the family and, and, and keeping going with them. So, so well done to all the guys and uh, really hope that they all enjoyed the race. And a huge thanks to our sponsors, Hollywood Bets and Winning Form. And let's hope we can be back later. Yeah, so you got to those two later on. Just touch on uh, the two above the world and uh, Big City Girl. Yeah, two in the same race again. Um, above the world, very speedy. And I think the going will suit her today. So, so I'm expecting a good run from her. Um, big City Girl, a thousand is probably on the sharp side for her. But, you know, if she pings the gates and she's up there, she might just as well stay there. So I, I really hope that both of them will run well. My fellow presenter's got a check for you. Seven and a half thousand from Brandon Bailey from uh, the Racehorse Owners Association uh, for the Racehorse Owners Association bonuses. Uh, seven and a half thousand rand go to the winning owners. They must, mustn't must all spend it at once, eh? With all the owners, Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks very much and well done to Corne Spies and to Mr. Tobias Spies who's here, um, the legend of the game that is just hanging around in the background. He still casts an eye over what uh, the Spies stable does and well done to him too. So three strands has run out of comfort winner of the race ahead of Memorial Day who did definitely see out the trip and then Brandon's Roslyn and the back end of trifectas for third.